Yep, it's true, women are testing you. In fact, there is a ton of tests that they are giving you when they are trying to see if they are attracted to you. So on today's video, I'm gonna go over these tests and I wanna to explain to you why this is so important. One of the reasons why this is so important is because if you know how to pass these tests, then you'll actually get her attracted to you. Now, of course, you can go the whole opposite direction and you can say, well, I don't wanna pass a woman's tests and I don't wanna do these things and I don't wanna work so hard, that's fine. If that's the case, then you probably won't be in a situation where you'll attract many women. But you have to understand that the tests that they give you are not necessarily conscious. The reason why a woman gives you a test is because this is her way of seeing if she is attracted to you or not, or simply said, are you someone that is attractive? Now, the reason for this is because women are more attracted to your behavior. Your behavior and your personality go a longer way because personality is hard to fake. And these behaviors are ones that show your masculine qualities way more than anything else. Women are more attracted to behavior and men are more attracted to a woman's physical attributes. So when it comes to tests, she's testing you to see if you have these attractive behaviors. She's testing to see how well you do in certain situations to know if you're a guy who's going to be emotionally strong through the process of dating her and being with her, even if it's not for long term, it's still the things that make a woman attracted. So the first test is her watching you to see how you're handling times of adversity, AKA stressful moments. So let's say for example, you guys are going traveling and you lose your suitcase. Suitcase doesn't come out when you guys are picking up your luggage. Now, you could react in a whole lot of ways. Super stressed out, super worried, really angry, or you can be more stoic and calm. She's watching this. Now, of course, I know this is not like, like a test that she is planning herself, but in a way, it's a test that is presenting itself and, is and it is inevitable that it will present itself when you're dating somebody. So you have to look out for these times when are you gonna be reactive and, and totally out of control or are you gonna stay calm and just try to solve the problem? Now along with this is she might actually stir up a little drama. She might try to say something to you that is a test to see how you're going to react. She might say something to kinda like poke at you a little bit to see is this person going to be reactive or is this person going to be more stoic and calm? So for example, she might just simply tease you a little bit, give you a little bit of shit, maybe poke fun at you a little bit. Are you going to be defensive or are you going to act calm through that? So I want you to pay attention to these moments of adversity and stress. Another test that they might do, this is not necessarily 100% of every woman who's going to be doing this is going to do it purposefully, but there are gonna be times, whether purposefully or not, she's going to hold back sex. Maybe she's not interested, maybe she is purposefully, like I'm saying, testing you, and so she's gonna see how you're gonna to react to that. Are you gonna be whiny and needy and kind of go into the corner of the bed and sulk, or are you going to not care at all? The guy who doesn't have a big reaction to this situation is the guy who is going to end up sleeping with her way more. Now, of course, you don't need to stick around with a woman who is not sleeping with you. That's kind of a bigger discussion altogether. But if it happens every once in a while, inevitably, if you're in a relationship or a marriage, it is going to happen. How are you going to react to it? If you're a big baby about it, it's not gonna make her want to do it with you more. So again, this could be a test or it's just going to happen and it's a test that kind of presents itself. Like I said in the earlier example, sometimes tests just present themselves without the woman actually trying to make it, right? These tests of adversity that naturally come up in everyday life. Another test that I do believe most women, about 95% of women actually purposefully are testing you on is the text test. Now, before I go into that one, I just wanna interrupt with a brief message. If you're feeling like you're having trouble with attracting women, keeping women around, 
do not hesitate to get my hooked course. My hooked course is an eight to 10 hour video course that you get access to what you can get on your iPhone or your iPad or your computer, just a little membership site where I host videos and it's called Hooked and it teaches you in these eight to 10 hours how to meet women, how to build attraction with my TED system and how to maintain attraction with a woman, whether you want one night stands or a girlfriend and it teaches you all the different techniques and a full system on how to do it so you don't just need to use all these YouTube videos and try to piece it all together. You can check that out at getterhooked.com. I'll leave a link down below. The text test is when she's seeing if you're going to cave when she doesn't text you back for a while. She's testing to see if you're going to do a double text. Now, of course, be careful. It may not be a test and she may not be responsive because she's actually not interested. If a girl doesn't respond in two to three days, she's not interested. But she might not text back for a couple of hours. Or maybe you guys are in this text conversation. And all of a sudden, she drops off the, the face of the planet for the next three to four hours. Are you going to double text? Are you going to send a bunch of paragraphs asking where she is? Or are you going to stay calm, cool, and collected and stoic to wait for her response? Again, there's a window here. If she's not texting you back for over 24 hours, so anywhere from like 36 hours plus, then at that point you can probably just assume she's not interested and plus you shouldn't be texting anyways to chit chat with them. You should be texting set up to set up a date. But just know you have to be calm. You have to wait for her to text. So if the ball's in her court, maybe you asked her a question, you texted her something, you're waiting for her to respond back to you. Don't double text, stay busy, wait for her to respond, and then go from there. As you can see, this is all about remaining calm and having stoic, attractive behavior and not being so emotional. I want you to tap into this mindset. I want you to watch this video again and understand that you need to stay un, or I should say non-reactive, whatever term you want to use, unreactive, non-reactive. It's the same idea to these times. I promise you, if you embody this mindset, her attraction levels are gonna go through the roof. If you wanna learn more about how to build attraction, check out the Hooked course. I'll put a link down below. Hope this video helped. Hit that like button if it did, and I'll see you on the next video.